chosen ones where you are where you are where you are chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video yes chosen one god bless you god bless you you read the title of this video chosen one yes but before then make it a point to keep on smiling oh yes smiling is good don't let anything steal your joy because whatever you're going through these two will pass all right great if you are going through some darkness right now remember the sun will still will soon set rise and you know you are going to have the light of god believe that everything you're going through has an expiration date nothing is permanent weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning trust god for your breakthrough for your blessings for your healing for your restoration for your deliverance for your salvation because it is only in god that you will find true peace and true happiness i'm telling you every other thing you seek apart from god that will lead you into bondage into pain into suffering right great all right chosen one you read the title of this video they are witches and wizards be warned about this person you'll be like who is this person yes this person is your close associate it's in your immediate cycle and this is it this person will cause you pain in the night time and in the daytime they will come around you and be dressing the wound for you Another sign you're going to know is anytime you go through trouble, tribulations in life, these people or this person will come around and they will be like, what happened to you? They will be like, they are sympathizing with you. But I tell you, deep down, they want to know the intensity of the problem, of the challenge that you are going through. Oh yes, they want to see you fail. They want to see you fall. But when you meet them or they are with you face to face, they wish the best for you. When it is your birthday, you realize these people will be texting you. They will come around you. They will be singing happy birthday for you. They will wish you all the best in life. But when you are becoming the best in life, when success is now chasing you down and you are becoming successful, they hate you, they envy you, they jealous you. And the moment you get a problem, they are the people that will come and start to comfort you. But deep down, they just want to know, yes, if you've been really hurt, you've been really pinned down because they are the secret, the cause of what you're going through, the pain that you're going through, they are behind it. I'm telling you. Yes. Remember, scripture says, do not trust anyone. Do not trust a friend. When you continue in that book of Micah 7 verse 5, down there, it says, a person's enemy are from his or her own household. Household stands for your immediate cycle. Yes, the people that you closely mingle, you closely associate with. These are the very people that are the root cause of your problems. And that is the reason why betrayal is very painful. Because it doesn't come from strangers. It comes from people who we've helped. Yes, the people you cared so much for are the people that are behind the trigger i'm telling you chosen one they are the very people that are the root cause of your pain of your suffering of whatever you're going through 
And this is where we need the Spirit of God, the Spirit of discernment, so that God will reveal them to us in our dreams, so that we will know how to relate with them. I'm telling you, witches and wizards are around you. Yes, they delight in your downfall. I'm telling you. And you're going to know because when others are facing some downfall, right? They feel excited. Yes. When your friends, some of them are going through some trying moment, difficult moments, difficult situation or circumstances. These people will come around you and you realize that they are happy. Yes, they, they will even say, oh, I advise him. I advise her. You see, um, look, look at what has happened. Instead of talking solution, they will be saying, oh, I, I advise. I said this. He, he didn't listen. She didn't listen. And they are the root cause. Be careful of these people. Be very much careful. You get to understand what Bob, Bob Marley said in his song. And that song is prophetic. And that song is very powerful. And that song really makes meaning up to today. And this is how the song goes. It says, man to man is so unjust. Children don't know who to trust. Your worst enemy could be your best friend and your best friend your worst enemy some will eat and drink with you some will eat and drink with you then behind they try to sus upon you try to sus upon you only your best friend know your secret so only he could reveal it who their cap fits let them wear it who their cap fits let them wear it i said throw me con throw me con me no call no foul me no call no foul i say cook 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 oh cook 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 oh cook 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 him some will hate you and they will try pretend to love you but behind they try to eliminate you but who jabblesh no man cares thank god but who jabblesh no man cares thank god right the song went on to say hypocrites and parasites will come and take a bite then when your night turn to day they will all a lot of them will run away yes who the cap fits lets that person wear it that is Bob Marley that is so powerful that is so powerful and this is happening right now we are surrounded by these people who hate us by these people who don't want the best for us by these people who wants to pin us down pull us down by these people who delight in our misfortune oh yes that is a quick way to know if someone is possessed by an evil spirit someone is a witch and a wizard your success in life makes them unhappy troubles them your success in life yes your success in life make them angry make them so angry yes because they don't want to see you successful a lot of people they don't want to see you successful chosen and you and i we are surrounded by these people some of these people are your ex-lovers yes and god has delivered you from them You've dodged a bullet, but they are reaching out to you back again. If they get the chance and they come now, they have developed new strategies and tactics to destroy you. 
I'm telling you, don't accept them back. When they come into your life now, it's like you have given them different bullets. Yes, to work on you, to destroy you. I'm telling you. Chosen one, God has delivered you from them. Don't go back. Don't have that mindset of scarcity. Keep working on yourself. Don't let boredom and loneliness make you go back and settle with these people. I'm telling you. You see, I'm doing this video because yesterday night I had a revelation, right, about someone in my life, in my own life. And that person is, 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 is so close a person. All right? It's so close a person. And I have stepped back, walked away from this person, but not knowing this person is so mad and still doing diabolic stuffs. Yes. So chosen one. We need to draw more closer to God. Oh yes, we need to draw more closer to God. Don't say you've sinned, you've committed unpardonable sin, and let that sin separate you from God. That is the motive of the devil, of Satan. To make you guilty of your sin, so that you separate yourself from God. You will not get closer to God. You will feel like you're not worth it. And then Satan now will clothe you in bondage, perpetual bondage. That is the sole aim of the devil. That is why the devil takes delight in making sure we keep on making mistakes. We keep on sinning. I tell you, chosen one. But you see, Drawing more closer to God and obeying God seems so hard from the beginning or at the beginning. To the time we realize that obeying Him is for our own good. It's for our deliverance, our salvation, our healing, our redemption our restoration, and our blessing. When we come to that time and realize that mm, drawing more closer to God is for, is for our own upliftment, betterment in life, drawing so close to God is going to be easy. And we will get so close to God no matter what. Even when we make mistakes, that is when we will not give God a breathing space. In all circumstances, when the goings are good, when the goings are bad, we should draw more closer to God. Because we even need God more in blessings. Yes, we need God in order to, 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 to protect that blessing, to guide us, to see us through, so that we don't end up becoming a slave for the devil. So that we don't end up in bondage. Let's keep seeking the face of God. No matter what we think is our addiction, is our weakness. No matter what we think is eating us up, is troubling us. And since everything has an expiration date, whatever you're going through, God will surely see you through. Remember, Joseph waited for so many years. Abraham waited for so many years. The man at the pool of Bethesda waited for about 30 something years. Imagine the mosquito bite and things. Right? Yes. But when it is the set time, the Lord will make it happen. That is why we must not give up on God. Since we have this life, each and every day, we should put God first. And we should remember God. And when we go about our divine duties, go to our workplaces, and we find ourselves falling short of the glory of God, we should ask for His mercy and His favor upon our life.
because only God can rec rescue us from this witchcraft spirit, these people that are possessed, that wants to pin us down, pull us down, and not see us grow. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.